My name is Riley L. Lasseter, Jr. I currently serve as the Chancellor for the Dallas County Community College District. I'm a native of Vicksburg, Mississippi, the oldest of nine children. I was born during the era of rigid segregation. During that period of time, the term Negro was used to describe persons of color. In department stores, there were colored water fountains and white water fountains. There was no access to public facilities, no restaurants, no hotels, no public transportation. I witnessed the Montgomery bus boycott when Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat for a white man. And I was there throughout the entire uh, course of events for the boycott, 378 days. None of you can envision what it would look like to see empty public transit buses going up and down the streets of Montgomery, Alabama. My family and I visited friends in Baltimore, Maryland. And when we had concluded our visit, we went there by car. Returned to Tuskegee, Alabama, our home, by car. And we arrived in a little city called Rome, Georgia. And I told my wife that I just cannot drive any further. So there is the Rome, Georgia Hotel. I'm going to go over there and see if I can get accommodations. My wife was terrified and said, My goodness going to go over there and get lynched and I'm going to be a widow with two children. I said, well, in my view, all they can do is say, yes, you have a room or no. So I walked in, went to the desk, indicated to the clerk that I would like to have a room. And to my pleasant surprise, I was given the registration material. So I registered, went back to the car. My wife was shocked know what had happened, and we drove up to the front door, went in, went to our room. We went down to the restaurant to have breakfast, walked in the front door of the restaurant, sat down. The white waitress came over, took our order, and as we were seated there, waiting to be served, all of the Negro restaurant workers came to the front door just looked at us and smiled. But we represented the first black people who had ever dared to enter this hotel, be given a rum, and to also sit in the restaurant.